welcome back students today in this session we are going to study chapter number 15 probability let us first try to understand what does the word probability means probability means possibility or so it tells us the chances of occurring an event so probability means possibility it tells us how likely an event is to occur for example it will probably rain today the statement suggests that it may or may not rain but we are predicting a rain today based on our past experience so the word probability means possibility probability so in this chapter we are going to study probability uh, which is a branch of the math mathematics dealing with the numerical aspect of predicting an event which is like uh, which is likely to occur next we are going to study some of the terms relating to this chapter uh, and their definition and what does that those term means so the first term is trial so a trial is an action which results in one or several outcomes for example tossing of a coin so when we toss a coin it results in the outcome of getting a head or a tail so the action action of tossing that coin is called a trial so try a trial is an action which results in one or several outcomes so next the term we are going to learn is an event so an event is an outcome or a collection of outcomes of an experiment for example an event with outcome had here an event with outcome had means so when we toss a coin either we get a hat or a tail so the getting of hat the outcome of getting an hat is an event with outcome hat so if we get a tail that will be an event with outcome of getting the tail so the event an event is an outcome or a collection of the outcomes for a particular rare or a random experiment now let us come to the definition of the word probability so probability tells us how often some event will happen after many repeated trials so how are we going to find the probability of an event the probability of a getting an event is given by the number of trials in which the event happened divided by the total number of the trials let us take an example uh, so a coin is tossed 10 times with the following frequencies of getting the outcome head free and tail seven so in tossing the coin 10 times we get head three times and tail seven times so what is the probability of getting a head the probability will be given by the number of trials in which the event happened that is the event of getting head that is three divided by the total number of trials that is 10 times so the probability of getting a head uh, in this example is 3 by 10 and same as the probability of getting the tail will be equal to the number of trials in which the event happened that is the event of getting tail that is 7 divided by the total number of the trials that is 10 so that will be 7 by 10 now let us look at some of the important points about probability so probability of an event lies between 0 and 1 that is the value will be between 0 and 1 and also the sum of all the probabilities is g is 1 so we need to remember this point uh, 
regarding probability. Next, let us solve some of the questions from exercise 15.1. So, starting from question number one. Question number one says, in a cricket match, a batswoman hits a boundary six times out of 30 balls. She plays. Find the probability that she did not hit a boundary. So, question number one solution. The given total number of balls is 30. That is the number of balls. Balls played by the batch woman is 30. So out of this, uh, she hits six boundaries, and the balls in which the, she did not hit the boundary will be 30 minus 6, that is 24. So our required probability will be the number of trials in which the event happened, that is, the number of balls in which she did not hit a boundary. That is 24 divided by the total number of balls that will be our total number of trials. So 24 divided by 30, which is equal to 4 by 5. So our required probability will be 4 by 5. Next exercise 15.1 question number 2. 1500 families with two children were selected randomly, and the following data were recorded. That is uh, the data of the number of families, number of girls in a family, and here the data is given as number of families. So, the number of families having two girls is 475, and the number of families having only one girl child is 814, and the number of families having no girl child is 814. 211. So we are asked to compute the probability of a family choose a random having two girls, one girl, and no girl. Also, say whether the sum of this probability is 1. Exercise 15.1, question number 2 solution. So, uh, problem number 1. The probability of family having two girls will be given by the number of families with two girls divided by the total number of families. So clearly in the question you can see that the number of families in the, the number of families having two girls is 475 and there of the total number of families is 1500. So 475 divided by 1500 that will be equal to 19 by 60. This will be our required for probability of a family having two girls. So for Roman number two, a probability of having uh, a family having one girl. That will be uh, the, uh, the there will be equal to number of families having with one girl that is eight hundred fourteen divided by the total number of families that is fifteen hundred, which will be equal to uh, 407 divided that is 407 divided by 750 so the required probability is 407 by 750 and for the third part there is Roma number 3 that will be probability of a family having uh, no girl child having no girl child that will be equal to uh, there will be equal to the number of families with no girl child that is 211 divided by the total number of families 1500 we cannot reduce this uh, further so the probability will be 211 by 1500 and also in the last part of the equation you are asked to find whether the sum of this this all three probabilities is equal to one so uh, the sum of all this probability sum will be uh, 19 by 60 plus 407 by 750 plus 211 by 1500. Uh, we know that 19 by 60 was reduced from this uh, particular fraction. So this will be equal 19 by 16, uh, 60 will be equal to 475 by 1500 plus 407 by 750 will be equal to 814 by 1500 plus 211 by 
hundred. If you sum of all this, you will get fifteen hundred by fifteen hundred. This will be equal to one. So the sum of all the probabilities will be equal to one. Next question number five. An organization selected 2400 families at random and surveyed them to determine a relationship between income level and the number of families, number of vehicles in a family. The information gathered is listed in the table below. So, question number one, Roman number one. Suppose a family is chosen to find the probability that the family chosen is question number Roman number one. Earning rupees uh, ten thousand to thirteen thousand per month and earning actually two vehicles. So in this question, we are going to look at the chart and answer the questions given, which is given as a Roman number one, two, three, four, and five. So we have to look at the table and solve those questions. So question number five solution Roman number one. In Roman number one, we are to we are asked to find the probability of a family earning rupees ten thousand to thirteen thousand per month and owning exactly two vehicles. So you need to look at at the table. So according to the table, those family uh, earning between ten thousand to thousand uh, thirteen thousand and having exactly two vehicles, the number of the, the family is twenty nine, and the total number of that uh, total number of uh, family is 2400 so the uh, probability will be 29 by 2400 so this will be equal to 29 by 2400 so this will be our our required probability and for roma number two uh, roma number two roma number two says we are to find uh, family probability of a family earning rupees sixteen thousand or more per month and owning exactly one vehicle. So let me change this to Roman number two, and that will be uh, the probability of a family earning rupees sixteen thousand or more or more per month and owning exactly one vehicle so if you look up at the table you will find that uh, that family earning 16,000 or more and owning exactly one vehicle is the number of that family is 579 and the total number of the family is a uh, family total family is 2400 so the probability will be 579 by 2400 which is equal to 193 by 800 so moving on to next uh, roma number three roma number three let me just write down what we are going to find out we are going to find the probability of a family earning less than seven thousand per month uh less than seven thousand per month and does not own any vehicle and does not own any vehicle So you need to look at the table and you will easily find that the number of people which is earning less than 7,000 per month and does not own any vehicle uh, will be equal to 10. So the probability will be 10 by, that is 10 by total number of the families that is 2400 which is equal to 1 by 240. So the required probability for Roman number 3 will be 1 by 200. Next is uh, Roma number four, and in Roma number four, we have to find a find the probability of a family earning uh, between rupees thirteen thousand and sixteen thousand, thirteen thousand to rupees sixteen thousand per month, 
and owning more than two vehicles and owning more than two vehicles more than two vehicles so uh, if you look at the table you will easily find the number of families which is earning between 13,000 to 16,000 per month and owning more than two vehicles is 25 the number is 25 so the probability will be required probability will be 25 by 2400 which is equal to 1 by 96 so this will be 1 by 96 will be our, our required probability so next let us move on to roman number five roman number five will in roman number five we have to find the probability of a family owning not more than one vehicle so let me uh, rub this one so we have to find the probability of a family owning owning not more than one vehicle owning not more than one vehicle so we have to look at the table again if you look at the table uh, you will see that the families number of families owning not more than one vehicle will be the sum of all these numbers that is a family having zero vehicles and family having one vehicle this total number will be the number of families owning not more than vehicle so we are going to add all these numbers and we will get the number of families which is uh, which uh, the, which fam families which does not own uh, not more than one vehicle so the required probability will be equal to uh, the sum of all the numbers which i have shown in the table so there will be 10 plus uh, first let me write down the number of families only no vehicles so 10 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 and the number of those family having only one vehicle that is that will be 160 plus 305 plus 535 535 plus 469 plus 579 equal to divided by the total number of families that is 2400 if you add all this number it will come up to 2000 2062 divided by 2400 which is equal to uh, if you reduce you will get 1031 divided by 1200 so the required probability will be 1031 divided by by 1200 